Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. I'm here with our lead support technician. Hi guys, I'm Andy Chatfield. And today we are going to demonstrate the TriCaster 460 integration with PTZ Optics. Uh, we've got two of our PTZ Optics white cameras here um, that we're going to be demonstrating. They're coming out SDI. Uh, we're plugging in the SDI to the TriCaster 460. And then uh, we have our RS-232 to USB adapters being plugged into the back of the TriCaster, and we're going to show all of that. Uh, but more importantly, Andy's going to set up the entire system. So why don't you go ahead and set it up, and then we'll show all the connections on the back. All right. So I'm here in my uh, start a new session window. Uh, this is where you inherently come to when you start a new session in the TriCaster. So I'm going to do a new. I'm going to do a test session. And I am going to make it 1080p 30, since that's what my cameras are set to. Go ahead and start this session, start live production. Yeah, for while you're doing that, I'm just going to flip around this PTZ Optics to show that we have our SDI model here. And we're coming out SDI, and then we're connecting via the RS-232. And that's the same with both of these cameras. Yep. So it does take a little bit for your session to start here. Um, so you can see I have camera one and two are my PTZ optics, and my camera three is a Blackmagic Studio camera. Um, that these all come inherently into the the TriCaster. If you just leave it set, I'm running the the newest edition of the TriCaster software. If you just leave it on auto detect, it tends to work pretty well. But these are coming in at 1080p 30, so I can switch all these to 1080p 30 if I wish. There's really no reason to because the the auto detect does a great job. But so those are my cameras. I'm pulling them in. So put them in preview. Mm -hmm. yep. So you can see the cameras pull through just fine. The cameras themselves are set to 1080p 30. The the session, the output of the session is set to 1080p 30. So it's a good match here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some camera control real quick here. So for the PTZ control, we want to select Sony RS232. And then um, I believe I have these set four and five. I guess not. So if you need to, to check the COM ports of your of your um, your USB dongles, you're actually going to have to exit the TriCaster software, and you're going to have to go back to Windows to figure this out. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, if we shut down, go back to administrator mode, and then you go exit to Windows. So here, if we just go to Device Manager, and then we can go to Ports, COM, and LPT. So my, my serial ports are four and five. I was right. So those are the two USB to DB9 dongles that I have connected to my TriCaster that I'm going to use to control my two cameras. I'm going to go back into the TriCaster. And I'm going to go back to the session that I opened earlier. Test three. Yep. So that's good to know. Um, the, the 410 here only really has, from what I can see, two USB, four USB ports. It has two USB 3 and two USB 2. The gotcha. USB dongles I have connected to a hub right now. Mm -hmm. And... Um, just because the TriCaster will not, the control will not work if you plug the USB dongles into um, a USB 3 slot. So I just have a basic USB 2 hub uh, that I'm, I'm connected to. So now I should be able to go here. COM4, PTZ on. Maybe it's COM5 for that camera. There it goes. That's camera two. This one should become four. This one should become five. That's two thirty two. goes. 
Okay, and so when it sets like that, that's that's when you know the TriCaster has control of the camera. Correct. It does just a reset. Yep. To get back to the um, home position. Of the so camera. now I should have control of both of my cameras here. I'm going to go back to PPZ down here, and I'm going to go to my camera two and try and just move it around, set some presets. Gotcha. So I'm going to force this one to look at our black magic camera here. That's good. Magic camera, do another one. Just wherever. So now you can easily switch between these presets just by clicking on them and such. It's uh, pretty cool the way they do the, um, the presets with the TriCaster. I enjoy it a lot. It's it's very it's fun setting up the sets. It's fun to use. It's fun running a show with them. Um, it's it's very cool. So you can uh, ideally you can just take this TriCaster out or TriCaster Mini or any of the TriCasters, set up your PTZ Optics cameras, run the RS232 USB adapters into the TriCaster, and you've got camera control yep. right into your TriCaster. Yep. It basically makes it really easy for one person to run up to a, with this TriCaster, there's four inputs, so up to a four camera show with one operator. It's pretty easy. You don't have to have people on tripods, on the cameras, communicating over comms, trying to get the perfect shot. You can set everything up yourself before the show even starts, set all your presets, have everything good to go, and then have one person go operate it and run the entire thing. And for that situation, you know, RS-232 to USB is pretty much the deal because you're already running... SDI, but what we've had a lot of customers ask about is IP control, um, you know, for cameras over the network to be able to be controlled with the TriCaster. Um, that is something we are, we will have available. We're going to do a video on that soon. That's going to be a third-party plug-in. Um, it's going to be around $250, and we're going to have a video on that soon, so don't worry. IP control is coming. It's obviously available on every single PTZ Optics camera. Um, and we're just going to create a little app to make it work with the TriCasters for those of you who use TriCasters today. I was just getting control of camera one. It was being a little finicky. Gotcha. But I should have complete control now. Set my presets to exact, everything exactly like camera two. It should work. Perfect. So, yep, that's the, the functionality of the PTZ Optics cameras with the, the Tech TriCaster. This is the TriCaster 460. Um, which is, it's a 2RU unit. Um, it handles just about everything video processing you would need it to do. Uh, like I said, it has up to four camera inputs, um, two HD SDI outputs, um, full tally light system. It has audio ins, audio outs. Uh, it works very well. It's a fantastic piece of gear, and I'm really happy that the cameras work fantastically well. Yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna show a um, a picture of the back of this TriCaster uh, in the live stream here. But let's just really quickly show the back of this PTZ Optics uh, camera here. And I just wanted to show this in more detail um, while we're here. You can see that the PTZ Optics cameras are extremely full featured. Uh, we've got IP streaming. We have HDMI. We have SDI, and we have RS-232 in and out all built into the same camera. Yep. Uh, this USB 2.0 port is just for firmware updates. Right. Um, we are looking to build in some type of recording feature for thumb drives in the future. Uh, that's, that's really more for future use. SDI, HDMI, IP streaming, and a line-in. And then we even have an analog out for those rare occasions when you might need that. So I just want to show that off. Uh, and this has been a, another demonstration of PTZ Optics integrating with the new, new Tech TriCaster. Thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy your day.